What's up my beautiful, beautiful people? Uh, so today is a gorgeous day here in Tennessee and I'm about to go ride my horse and I thought I would jump on and talk really quickly about histamine, a leaky gut, and basically you just cannot fix your eczema issues, your skin issues, all your issues just on beef alone. Now, this is like the new old problem with me when I have consultations with people. They're eating a lot of ground beef. Okay. Sometimes it's too lean. It should be fatty, at least, at least an 80-20. And it should be ground beef. And then we have people eating a lot of ribeyes. And they're like, well, I can't afford commercial beef. I'm like, look, if you got to go to Costco and get grass-fed ground beef, do that. But I'm starting to see people having problems with histamine with meats that are not grass-fed. Or they got uh, that other uh, M&M stuff in it. Not a good idea. It's not M&M, but you know what I mean. Okay. So I want to show you, a lot of people don't know about the thymus, like what it does. And I hear my donkey out there. They make these, donkeys make the weirdest sounds. They, like they're, they're crying. They're like, it's, it's a very bizarre thing. Now I have two of them, but let's do it. I want to talk about organ meats and thymus, particularly thymus, kidneys, your intestine. These are organs that we have to consider when we're trying to do a carnivore diet or a, which I prefer, riding the line of carnivore and doing a ketovore, which is pretty much you're eating avocados and avivore. Avocado carnivore, we're just adding an avocado to make sure you get enough potassium and enough fiber to make what? Thymine oxidase. Help balance out your gut flora, right? Right? Keep the, the, the milieu, milieu, Swedish word, the environment in your gut and balance because we don't have enough fiber, then sometimes the bacteria goes, ah. Check out people on carnivore for a while. They may may not be telling you it's happening, but it's happening. Okay, let's pull up this picture so you guys can see, right? People eat it from a sheep, from a bovine, uh, cow. These are the two typical places people get their thymus. Uh, let me see here. Let me pull this biatch up. There we go. Let's me let me expand this even more so. So if you guys can see, that's the cow's head. And what's relevant about this is because a lot of people don't know where the thymus is. There it is. See where that T is? The bottom one on the left, the left list, we've got the left atrium. And if you go all the way down past the right ventricle, the last list is the thymus. That is the T and it's kind of around the trachea area on a human being. It is, let me see if I can pull this up on a human being. It is, or look at it on me. So on a human being, it is about there, right? Thyroid is here, butterfly shaped. Thymus is here. It's like below the trachea, above the lungs on a human being. But I want you guys to see it on a cow because it's, it's so awesome right? It's awesomeness to kind of really visualize this organ and why it's so important. Oh, you can't see it with my image there. That, oh my goodness. Okay. It says right ventricle below that is my image of me. Can I move it? No, I can't. Darn it. Stupid app or thing, platform. The thymus is the letter T, as you can see in the cow's throat. Now, what does the thymus do? Let's talk about in humans, right? Uh, so with humans, it is, so, okay, so obviously it's for, it helps your immune system and your white blood cell count. So it's your T cell maturation, T cell maturation. So the thymus is primarily responsible for the maturation and development development of the T cells in your white blood cells. So when you guys are having like you're sick or you have a cold or a sclu, I know, uh, you're not feeling well, you don't sleep enough, you like overstretch your adrenals, drink 20 cups of coffee, this can put a stress on that whole T cell, your whole immune system, white blood cell count, all of that. Um, so it's the uh, immature T, T cell response known as the thymocytes, and they migrate from the bone marrow to the thymus. Within the thymus, they undergo a process called maturation, education, and 
selection where they acquire specific receptors and learn to recognize the different and differentiate between self and non-self antigens. Immune immune tolerance. So the thymus aids in establishing the immune response or the immune, sorry, rather, the immune tolerance and mechanisms that prevents the immune system from attacking the body on its own healthy cells and tissue. So during the T cell development, the thymus, thymus, the T cells that recognize self antigens to strongly or those that uh, auto reactive, reactive against body's own antigens, hence people with histamine, are eliminated and rendered inactive, the process helps to prevent immune disease by promoting cell tolerance. Now, the thymus itself, um, okay, so, so, but people have been eating organ meats throughout time, and thymus is something a Mexican population typically eat it. It's called, commonly called sweet bread. When I was in Texas, you saw it at all the H-E-B stores. It's this white, let me see if I can pull up an image of it. But before I do, yes, thymus is responsible for the immune system, of course, the lymphocytes, uh, the white blood cells, and of course, basically your immune system. It also is an important against infections like mold. People wanted me to talk about black mold, like moldy homes. So mold, candida, fungi, parasites, gliruses, herpes, Epstein-Barr. It's supposed to help the cell mediate the immunity. And it's also critical in protecting against the development of autoimmune con conditions and allergies and helps in the production of diamine oxidase. Now, diamine oxidase is um, its something that you guys need to learn more about, diamine oxidase. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, with proper T-cell, uh, mediated T-cell maturation, you're help also helping the um, development of... Um, Diamine oxidase. So diamine oxidase is essentially your antihistamine. And if we go more into DAO from the kidneys, and let me see here. So it's produced in the small intestine and synthesized in several tissues throughout the body, including your kidneys. Yes. And thymus. So the production is in the gastrointestinal tract, including the small intestine and your colon, kidneys, and specialize in the cells that are known as enterocytes in the small intestine and the cells in the renal tubules of the kidneys. That's why when people are eating kidneys, they tend to get a good amount and fair amount of diamine oxidase for helping fight against histamine. But the thymus helps in the production of the D-diamine oxidase in the small intestine, and then it's synthesized in the kidneys. And so that is the reason why when, uh, when I started taking ancestral supplements back in the day, immediately when I was having histamine rash, my skin cleared up like this. And it does better on thymus than it, like actual eating thymus, than it does with um, taking the supplements, which the supplements help too. But some of you guys who have, who have histamine so bad, when you do the supplements, it's shipped from New Zealand if you're taking ancestral thymus. And then if you don't put it in the freezer, you're getting a lot of bacteria on it. So it's counterintuitive to try to get rid of allergies and all of this. But um, let's take this away. So basically, a lot of you guys are trying to um, clear your histamine. You're like, oh, I was doing a bunch of carbs or I came from veganism and I had histamine intolerance and SIBO and leaky gut and I did carnivore and I felt really good. Well, that is because in the beginning, um, people... 
in the beginning, people are like all of those in like anti nutrients in soup foods, like the salicylates, uh, plants, salicylates, oxalates, gorgogens, nightshades, lectins, ponins, tannins, uh, gluten, all of these things are just the immune system's overactive. Your C reactive protein numbers are like inflammatory markers are high. And you do carnivore, and then those anti nutrients are gone, and for the short term, you feel better. Um, but then over time, the symptoms come back with rage because you can't just eat uh, ribeyes and, and uh, ground beef. I want to show you what dietary uh, thymus looks like. It's so funny when I wrote, uh, wait, when I wrote Mexican sweet bread, a bunch of like bread came up. Like you can't make this stuff up. Okay, let's call it thymus instead. Okay, well, it's sort of pulling up. Let's try dietary thymus. Now I'm getting all the supplements. You can't make this stuff up. Oh my God. No! Um, I know this will work. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you what thymus looks like. Let me pull this up because it, it's just, it's so good. It tastes divine. And a lot of people are afraid of eating liver. And I've told you liver is the most nutrient dense organ. And then we have the thymus, the intestine, the kidneys. Um, people are, for, for different issues, diamine oxidase production, their immune system, iron, the vitamins, the minerals, minerals, zinc, copper, it help uh, seal the gut wall when you guys have leaky gut. Yeah. So let's remove this and let's add in. I want you guys to see what thymus looks like. And it tastes amazing. You can grill it, you can air fry it, or you could put it in the oven. I think grilling and air frying are the best ways to cook it. Otherwise, it tastes like rubber. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is what thymus looks like for those who don't know what it looks like. Yeah, let me blow it up. Thymus is so amazing for histamine. Like, I can't explain how good it is for your immune system in general and for histamine. So it kind of looks like brains a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me pull up over here. This is what thymus looks like uncooked, right? And it looks gross, but when you cook it, okay, when you cook this stuff, it ends up being divine. Okay, look at this. The outside gets super, super crisp, crispy, 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 crispy. And then the inside is just, it's got this, this savory taste to it. It's really, really good. So you could either air fry it or you can grill it. But if you pan fry it or boil it, it's going to taste like rubber. For those who've got severe histamine intolerance and they boil their food, a lot of people boil it because it kills a lot of the bacteria. It's not going to taste good. Is going to be pretty, it's, it's mostly fat FYI. So you don't have to worry about your macros as far as eating too much protein by eating thymus, but thymus, kidney, liver, these are my top three. Those are the ones that if you're going to do, if there's, if there's a bunch of organs like tongue and brain and intestine and spleen, if you're going to choose one, it's going to be thymus. First, it's, first, it's going to be your liver. Second, a uh, sex not your liver, liver, thymus, and kidney. Okay. If you want to, if you want to combat your histamine intolerance, your eczema, your autoimmunity, your flare-ups, your inflammation, the puffiness, get on some thymus because it's really good for the T cells. Get on some kidneys for the DAO, get on the liver and for the DAO and thymus and, or thymus helps the production of diamine oxidase and get on the liver for everything else, but you're not going to uh, fix a overactive immune system on ribeye and ground beef. 
A lot of people are eating mono meats. You're not supposed to be eating mono meats because you don't get a diversity of bacteria. So the problem with being on a standard American diet and pharma pharmacological interventions and garbage like this and poor sleep and stress, chemical exposure, is that the bacteria in your gut becomes out of balance. The small intestine opens up, big holes, creates an inflammatory response, and your diamine oxidase uh, production is down, which helps fight the inflammation. And that's the big, huge, big, big no-no when it comes to trying to deal with eczema and rashes and candida, because even if you have a candida applicant overgrowth, you're going to have an overactive immune system. You're going to have a rash. You're going to be like brain foggy. You're going to feel tired. You're going to crave sugar when you're having an overgrowth of candida or exposure to black mold, which again is great for things like thymus, right? It's going to help your immune system fight off the infections that come from these spores, these, these uh, fungal spores. So um, yeah, you'll feel a lot better. Your body doesn't like to have, it doesn't like to have an imbalance of bacteria and it doesn't like to have an overgrowth of some type of fungi. The immune system can fight it, but you need equipment like thymus to help fight it. If you're eating ribeye and ground beef and muscle meats, you're going to feel less of the inflammation at first, and then it's going to rebound. It's going to rebound. Your histamine is going to come back. You're not going to be able to eat plants. Your diamine oxidase drops because of the imbalance of gut microbes. Fiber helps balance and keeps fiber helps here and there intermittently or in the avocado keeps the gut microbiome from tanking. Bad bacteria up, good bacteria down when you have fiber. Now you don't have to eat like First of all, psyllium husk is like eating glass, so don't do that. Um, don't, uh, somebody contacted me on my freaking email asking to represent a company that sells psyllium husk. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not your girl. Uh, this stuff is not good. That's what you find in the supermarket to poop. You want to have a gut microbiome balance and stress and chemical exposure and antibiotics and birth control pills and amalgam fillings and pesticides, all these things jack up your flora in your gut, the bacteria. And so things that help regulate it are a rotation of your meats and a little bit of fiber peppered in here and there. It could be in a cruciferous form. It can be in your avocado if you can tolerate them. And then please people start eating organ meats. Don't get stuck on muscle meat. You're not going to fix your, fix your histamine, your leaky gut, your infl inflammation, lose the weight on eating just muscle meat because of the issue with an imbalance of bacteria. Yeah. And it doesn't come with as much nutrients as like liver does, right? So you're trying to fix your SIBO, but you're eating muscle meat. You're going to need the zinc, the copper. Uh, you're going to need the selenium, the manganese. You're going to need the vitamin D, E, A, and K in more robust amounts than you would find in just the meat itself. It has a lot of those things in it, but it's not going to have packed and chocked full of the nutrients like liver would or like with, with thymus helping your immune system, which helps indirectly the production of diamine oxidase, which helps your histamine. You feel a lot better and you can sleep a lot better. I hope this helps. Please stop eating mono meats and eating the same food every day. That's not how you get better. Diversify your sorry, diversify your meats and do not eat two pounds of beef a day and fast at the same time if you don't want to jack up your immune system over time. There are people who try to challenge me in the chat section. Why are you watching me? I'm not your girl. Find someone else who's going to tell you to pound down two pounds of beef at Costco or Sam's Club. Good luck. <laughs> and I'm out. Peace. Energy. If you guys uh, want to find me on Instagram, that's Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. If you want to sign up for a consultation, stephanieperson.com. Also, I have a course that's $15 a month that's subscription-based. You can also go to stephanieperson.com. And I am writing all about the thymus and organ meats and mold exposure for the challenge. So as you can see, I'm not done yet. I keep getting requests on what to write about or put in the challenge. So there's no signups yet, but stay tuned. It will happen. I'm working diligently with my web guy right now to find the best system to make sure it goes down. And I need to go jump and ride on my horse right now.
Because look, it's so beautiful outside and I'm inside. Why am I inside when it's so beautiful outside? And I'm out. Peace! Energy at 55 going on 56. What? You don't have to turn into an old rotten apple. You can stay young and fresh and vital if you want to. Change your mind. Change the crop. I'm out. Peace.